Hey guys, it's Elliot. Uh, we're going to talk about wires today because the wiring documentation is kind of confusing. Uh, so I wanted to clear it up and make it a little easier. All right, so on this table is pretty much all the wire that you're going to need. We're going to start on the end. Uh, if you if uh, you found this video, then obviously you found the uh, sheet that tells you exactly how much of each that you'll need. This is what I've got left over after doing the first car. So we're going to start with the... Uh, the orange, that's going to be 18 gauge, uh, 500 feet. Uh, up next, you got the light blue. Now, again, that's that's light blue. Uh, not much left of this one. You're going to need about 300 feet of 18 gauge light blue. All right, here's the dark blue. Uh, dark blue, you'll pretty much find on the outside of the car. Everywhere on the inside, uh, I've seen the light blue, but on the outside, it seems to be darker. So it's the dark blue that I dealt with, and I ordered... 500 feet of 18 gauge blue. Uh, here's the pink that's gonna go on the uh, Roan contactors. I think in real life it's probably just faded red, but uh, uh, we do have some pink. This is 25 feet of 12 gauge pink. Uh, you're gonna lose, use a lot of red. This is actually the second spool that I had. Uh, so I ordered 1,000 feet of the, what is this? This is uh, 16 gauge red. And then you get this, uh, this gray, which actually looks more like a light gray. As you see, I have some here too, went back and forth between two different colors. Uh, so you're gonna get the uh, 18 gauge, 300 feet, that's left over. Uh, you're gonna get into the black. Again, I got 1,000 feet of 16 gauge black. Uh, some of that green there, uh, 25 feet of 18 gauge green, along with 25 feet of 18 gauge white. And then last but not least, the 200 feet of 12 gauge yellow. So uh, that's gonna be all your wires. Then we're gonna get into this neoprene hosing uh, to simulate the wires. Uh, here's some of the, uh, the smaller, that's the uh, 3 8 And then here's the half by 3 4 so That's gonna be the bigger stuff. That's about what I had left over after ordering all that. And then uh, get yourself a big old bag of zip ties. You're gonna need some uh, some some big size ones and some small size ones. Uh, so that is what you're gonna need to start your wiring. All right, here we are on the Colco out on this side. Again, the top row is gonna come out and disappear back there behind the janitorial tank. And the bottom is gonna come loop around and go into the end right there. Here in the back of the car, here's the uh, Kolka on the side here. Again, the wires are blue, black, red, red, blue, black, blue, black, red. They're real short because they disappear into this wire loom. That wire loom runs along the car, comes back here, and it's gonna disappear under there. Um, on this nut right here, you're gonna get the two wires that come from this capacitor. This capacitor's yellow wires are going to run to the other Kulka will film. These wires right here, same color as before, they disappear under the deck lid. We'll come to this one right here. Again, kind of hard to see. Um, the top ones are going to come around and disappear into the metal heat sink. And the bottom ones are going to come along the side and they're gonna end right in the top of this heat sink. All right, dealing with wires on the outside of the car. You're gonna come around the fender, down into the hose. I cut it there. Then here, it's gonna come out the back. It's gonna go up the side. It's gonna go underneath behind the janitrol. It's gonna come out right there. It's gonna follow all the way around here into the back of that flux box. That's driver's side. All right, passenger side, start at the front of the car. Come down. Again, don't miss the uh, clamp at the bottom. Straight in, again, I cut it. It's gonna come out. Now the wires and the hose are gonna be two different lengths. They're gonna come up. They're gonna come in behind this box. 
and it's gonna come, the hose is gonna come straight up. But the wires are gonna come wrap around once and then go into the box. These three wires right here that also disappear behind the box are coming from those cannon elbows and behind the red capacitors. All right, rear of the car. I gave you a length in there. Uh, really what you're gonna wanna do is just probably adjust it based on how close together your uh, flux boxes are, but that's how it should look right there. All right, we'll try right here with the uh, glove box lid. Uh, the row on the bottom comes down around the corner, terminates in the same spot as the other ones. The ones on the top come all the way down and come underneath where the radio should be. There's another set of wires there that goes in that same spot. That's gonna come from the heat sink on top of the radio. All right, here are the dash boxes. Um, there's two sets that come out of the dash boxes, that side that comes out of the right. That side's gonna go down in between the time circuits, down along the side of the car, and it's gonna end underneath. Um, dash boxes are gonna come out of the dash boxes. They come down around the corner and they terminate underneath there. And then this strand right here with the uh, hose and the two smaller hoses, it's gonna run all the way around the binnacle in between and down the side. Let me come around the side so you can see where it terminates. It's gonna come down the side with those two hoses right here that terminates underneath the car. All right, the wires on the back of the compass come out of the compass, combine into this wire loom, come all the way down, and again, terminate right there underneath the dash. So the wires from the compass. All right, here are the dash boxes. Um, there's two sets that come out of the dash boxes, that side that comes out of the right. That side's gonna go down in between the time circuits, down along the side of the car, and it's gonna end underneath. Um, dash boxes are gonna come out of the dash boxes. They come down around the corner and they terminate underneath there. All right, and here is the uh, Rowan contactors. Again, all the wires on the right side of the Rowan go down in between the time circuits and end underneath the dash. And all the ones on this side go down this side and terminate into the wire loom down the side of the dash. And then this strand right here with the uh, hose and the two smaller hoses, it's gonna run all the way around the binnacle in between and down the side. Let me come around the side so you can see where it terminates. It's gonna come down the side with those two hoses right here that terminates underneath the car. Okay, so the longest run starts back here. It's gonna come by clear box, time circuit switch. It's gonna come up behind the keypad. It comes up. Up and around the time circuits in between the turning gauges along the top all the way down under and terminates underneath the car. It's the longest run you're gonna have. The real last big wires that you have, again, you've got hoses and wires. They're gonna come down the side of the car. They're gonna go down low in between of the seat. The gray cable that you see is the cable that comes out of the back of the uh, speedometer. And that's gonna just follow and join again right there to where it terminates. All right, here we are inside the car. The uh, door sill is going to stop right up underneath the car. It's going to follow along the e-brake and it ends right here. Mine isn't long enough. I made the uh, lengths a little longer because it should disappear behind the seat. I'm close, but not quite there. Passenger side door, you've got the three hoses. They start here and the wires, they follow down the side of the car and they terminate underneath the car.